there are two approaches to improve the current therapy. One approach surely is to look for a better drug than currently existing one. Another approach is to decrease the side effects associated with the chemotherapy or radiation therapy. And it is the second approach we enacted to focus on in exploring Chinese medicine for treatment of cancer. Two major questions has to be addressed. One, whether this formula will compromise the chemo action on the tumor. Two, is whether this formula can be made consistently. If none of those criteria can be fulfilled, this formula shouldn't be used in clinic. So we're giving a popular anti-cancer drugs, uretikin, to the animal. The end up result is not only do not compromise, actually enhance the anti-cancer drug actions against tumor. Then you're trying to monitor the toxicity caused by CPT in mice, CPT11, uretikin. The surprise to us, uh, no, this is actually not a surprise to us, the side effect, the toxicity of CPT-11 actually dropped. Then the second, so this, in other words, this uh, sounds like a very is a, uh, perfect combination if this can be translated into the clinic setting. Now then we also say, is this unique for this animal model? So different animal model being used, the conclusion, they all the same. The, so is this unique for this uh, uretikin? So actually, it also enhanced a variety of anti-cancer drug actions. So we decide the next obvious issue, can we make it in consistent manner? The question is uh, not only you make it consistent, what is the methodology you use to evaluate the consistencies? We decide to use a multiplex the system and the informational reach and the inclusive. In other words, any biological changes we can detect, we consider they are relevant until proven irrelevant. Any uh, chemical we can detect, we consider them relevant until proven irrelevant. And uh, so this is called a phytomics technology.